Are you finding that you've got stutters in your sim and you don't know why? Uh, are you finding that there is a bit of lag in your sim and you can't figure out why? If you do find they say you do have stutters or you, your sim is not performing as it should but your CPU and GPU are fine, it could be that OneDrive is actually sending you, some of your add-ons into the cloud and then your PC or your simulator is having to recall that information um, from the OneDrive location into your simulator and that is what could be causing you stutters. <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome. My name is Adam G. Pestridge. Welcome to another P3D video. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how you can uninstall OneDrive from your PC safely uh, without uh, destroying anything. Um, also, you know, if you've either just done a fresh Windows install, um, it's something that should be done from the very get-go. Um, I'll also show you how to exactly remove it, but also even if you've got P3D installed already, um, and you find yourself having stutters, you find that yourself is maybe, you know, things aren't as they seem. Uh, it could be that um, you have some add-ons that are installed into the OneDrive location. Um, I found after doing a complete reinstallation of uh, Windows that OneDrive behaves a little bit differently after the new feature updates. It's installed in by default and links your PC by default to your account and your documents are automatically registered in the cloud service of OneDrive, which means it automatically begins uploading your pictures, your documents um, into the cloud. And obviously as a business, this is a great idea, you know, um, automatic sort of transfer of the documents into the cloud, great. But as a flight simulator, this isn't what we want, to be honest. Um, we want our documents stored locally on the drive, and we don't want them have to be transferred from the cloud into our sim, you know. Um, it can cause problems. So um, there is a safe way to get rid of one drive off your system, so it's not recalling this information from the internet. Um, and I'm going to show you exactly how to also remove OneDrive uh, safely before, uh, you know, if you just go ahead and delete it, by the way, you'll be removing your files from the sim, um, which is not what you want to do because they're stored on the OneDrive, okay? First things first, you've got to unlink your PC uh, from your Microsoft OneDrive account. That's the first thing you got to do. If you don't do that, right, then your files are stuck in the cloud you know um and you can't get them back down it's uh because you haven't got that account anymore on your hard drive okay so first things first we need to first off successfully unlink your pc from your onedrive account and this is how you do that so heading down uh, open up onedrive uh, you'll see it down in the bottom here you just right click and open and go to settings and when you click on settings you will see this uh, page here pop up and you just head to account and you click on unlink this PC and it will unlink your account from your PC it is vitally important right that you unlink this PC first before doing anything else once you unlink it, make sure in the settings everything is unticked and then you can click OK. And then you can successfully remove OneDrive from uh, your PC using the following method. So uh, I'll put a link down to uh, my Discord down below. All you need to do is once you come in, um, is scrolled right down to the bottom to the free flight sim assets channel click on it and scroll up until you see the Adam experience and then basically just download that to your desktop or a folder and when you do um, basically 
the folder will appear um, in the location you save it in and you just need to extract it now once it's extracted you basically go in there's a lot of stuff in here you don't need to worry about basically the steps to take document here is what you'll need to look at and you're looking for this uh, entry here so basically what you want to do is copy it from the IEX just basically you can click control C or you can right click on it and click copy either way um, then head to your start menu here click on the start right click on the start and click Windows PowerShell admin and you'll get this blue box pop up if you haven't got this blue box popping up you're not doing it right um, you can literally click control V uh, to paste that information that you just copied and then hit enter and basically you'll get this pop-up right now all you have to do to remove one drive is click this button and that is it um, once you've done that um, which I won't do because I've already done it but once you do that this will then fill out and it will remove OneDrive and all you have to do is restart your PC and OneDrive is completely removed from your PC. Um, you can also disable Cortina if you want, stop the PDF, uh, stop Edge from taking over your PDF. Um, you can also unpin tiles from the start menu um, if you want, which is a, something I'm gonna go through in a separate video. Um, and enable dark mode if you want, if you want basically all your Windows e Explorers uh, to be basically you know like this dark like this and ha everything sort of have a, a nighttime mode to it uh, which is much better than the bright white I feel um, but that's basically it guys that's all you have to do is uh, to remove one drive is just click those buttons and one drive will gone, be gone there is a lot of other things you can do in here you don't have to it's uh, totally up to you but um, thank you so much for watching. And um, um, anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Take care, and I'll see you in the next one.